Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. You are now the manager of purgatory, it's a mix between heaven and hell. How would you make people uncomfortable, while they can also enjoy things? All of your clothing fits you like a glove and makes you look great. But, will always be slightly damp. Ah. Uh. Steve's delightful. Steve's divine. Steve's a darling, fair and fine. Steve's a dream. And Steve's a dear. Steve looks great in all his gear. Steve's stupendous. Steve's a treat. Steve's tremendous, true and sweet. Steve's a charmer. Steve's a champ. Steve's a... Steve's a little damp. Joke's on you. I sweat so much I'm always slightly damp anyway. You're secretly in purgatory. Free, high-speed Wi-Fi that cuts out for random intervals at random times of the day. So my current life. Now I know I'm in purgatory. Edit, to delete my edit. Thank you Gold, 3. Or living under a Comcast monopoly which is basically hell light. Make the temperature just cold enough to need a sweater but too hot to wear one. This is my heaven. You can have my sweater. Edit, thanks for the gold, fellow warm blood. Make the temperature different for each person so that everyone, even you monsters who like it cold, are equally forced to want a sweater. It's rather delightfully pleasant, said he. But maybe a little too chilly for me. A layer should do it, he stated and so. He pulled on his sweater. He whispered. O oh, number. Give them good television shows with too many damn commercial breaks. Not just that, but there will be one particular commercial that plays every break. Holy balls, gold. Thank you anonymous redditor. And the one commercial is for head on. Apply directly to forehead. So. Who? You can watch any sporting event live but the seats are slightly tilted forward. Not enough to where it is obvious but enough for you to be uncomfortable but don't know why. This sounds horrible and something FIFA would do. The uncomfortableness causes you to feel like you need to get up and walk around more often, and what's there to do but get up and go buy a $15 beer. My great-grandfather was a psychiatrist. My grandmother told me that he used to do this to all the seats in the waiting room of his office. He had sessions with wives, kids, brothers and sisters, but noticed that the session would always be noticeably less productive if the patient's parents forward slash sibling forward slash significant other etc. were in the waiting room waiting on the session to conclude. So he sawed an inch off the front legs of each chair and people started dropping their patients off and then having errands to run during the hour. I wish I had gotten to know him more before he passed away when I was seven. He seemed like he was such a cool dude. Phil Collins in the air tonight is on loop in the background but it always restarts before the drum solo kicks in. You fucking savage. It's supposed to be purgatory not hell you monster. Out of all the things I've seen on here, this is the worst. Give them a beautiful house to live in, but it's always under construction. Edit, obligatory thanks for the gold kind redditor. Can I spend it at Home Depot? This one feels like the right mix of heaven and hell right here. Wow what a nice room. Drilling noises. They get to watch TV but no matter how many times they wipe it off the clicker is always uncomfortably sticky. Living with kids. No, that's just hell. The Wi-Fi is amazing, as long as you're sitting on top of a cupboard or halfway down the stairs. Edit, people seem to think sitting on the stairs is comfortable enough. In my house. The stairs are so thin even I can't fit my buttocks on them, and the carpet is itchy. So the stairs would all be like that. I chilled my fair bit on the stairs would get a pillow and chill their tbh. No pillow allowed, only a pillowcase if you are lucky. Everyone has wings and can fly but there is a little pebble stuck where the joint of one wing meets the body. You monster. Jesus Christ, who hurt you? I would guess a little pebble. You can have anything you want but you have to wait in line and everyone in the line is those, let me tell you my life story for some reason, stranger. And the wait is at least 5 hours. This is pretty much what happens to me at the DMV. One time the lady ahead of me was sharing how nervous she was about her driving test, she wasn't originally from the US so she was used to different rules. I was trying to be pleasantly reassuring, I felt sympathetic towards her. But then she said just feel how cold and clammy my hands are. And grabbed mine. 
Her hands were indeed very cold and clammy. I have to admit, I was a little weirded out. And I was gloomily aware that now my hands were totally covered in someone else's sweat, and I felt like it would be rude to try to wipe it off. She passed her test, BTW. But stuff like this happens to me all the goddamn time. So, it's official. Earth is purgatory. This explains so much. Surprise spanking sometimes sexy, sometimes serious. Estet, sweetly surprised such sweet sentiment. Sounds kinky. Sometimes. Would be heaven for me. Just sometimes while you're at work, your dad just comes into the office and spanks you in front of your boss. Unlimited beer but it's always warm. Surprise, you're in England. So purgatory then. Let them do what they enjoy but there's a large, disembodied eye, like the sun, watching at all times. I just ignore it, like the sun. Are it watches you, you can feel the attention like you can feel someone watching you. You have no idea how much this reply has me fucked up. My pleasure. R forward slash a maldea mordor. R forward slash subsiwarted toberiel. Everyone's smartphone will phantom buzz a couple of times a day. No notification or cause for it. So you mean normal life? Well normal life is not heaven nor hell so yeah. Unlimited orange juice, but only after you've brushed your teeth. Jokes on you I think that the taste of orange juice after toothpaste is tolerable and highly exaggerated. What's wrong with you? Did you have good childhood? Every beverage will be lukewarm right at the point where it's neither enjoyable nor unpleasant. Any time you have the sex it'll seem like you're about to have a fabulous orgasm however it'll just be underwhelming enough to have mild disappointment. Food will look absolutely amazing and smell great but then once you bite into it, it'll be just a tad under seasoned or slightly off in seasoning. All gadgets will run slower than normal but just enough to reach the end of your patience before it'll work okay. There will constantly be close calls where you're faced with some form of torture but then at the last second it stops before it begins. Everything seems to just be out of reach and take extra effort to be able to grab. The temperature will be that area where it's just a little warm but you'll have a fan which almost cools you down. There will always be those annoying 8 to 30 year old kids who talk obsessively about Fortite, PUBG, and Miecraft with you. When going to the market, there will only be foods and drinks that are one day past the sell by date and looked as if they were dropped one too many times. You'll slightly stub your toe, step on a random Lego, or get a paper cut at least once a week. You'll accidentally sit on something wet when you have to pee or poo. There will be that one couple that you see all the time that's actually experiencing heaven and are vacationing in the middle lad. You'll take a wonderful shit every time you poo. You know, the one that makes you feel all good to let it go. But no matter how many times you wipe there always seem to be a little poo left. Your orders at Heck Duals and Purgatory King will start out exactly as you expected but they'll always mess up your order. Every time you eat, you'll eat well. But you will overeat and get that miserable I ate too much feeling. You'll get to nap in one of the most comfortable contraptions you can think of, only to be woken up every single time right before you fall into that amazing blissful sleep. Edit, had some requests for more so added a few I thought about. Edit 2, I am not sitter. I'm perfectly fine crept maybe a bit of a twisted sense of humor. Added a couple more. And I'm not trashing me aircraft y'all it's more the overly excited loud and boisterous child I'm referring to. Who hurt you? Dude you good. The gadgets would be incredible slow, since I have a lot of patience with shit like that. With those close calls you would disappoint a lot of keeksters. Free video games, but they have loot boxes to get better equipment. Surprise purgatory. I didn't know purgatory was instituting surprise mechanics. Well I am in. All you get to enjoy stuff on electronic devices but they can only have the volume set at an odd number. Edit, odd numbers excluding multiples of 5 as that's the only tolerable odd number. I mean really anything other than a 0 or 5 is blasphemy, so as long as I get the 5, I'm good. I'll also accept a 69. I see you're a man of culture as well. Make them work 8 hours or more each day, but give them access to Reddit to help distract them. Is that life? That is insanity. Create a luxury beach resort in purgatory but in order to swim they need to wear socks. Eh, hey, not too bad. Once you're in for a few minutes you can't feel it. As long as you take them off when you get out you'll be fine. 
Yes I just stood in the bath for a few minutes doing this to find out. Edit, wow, thank you kind stranger for the gold and the silver. First awards on Reddit for having wet socks, great achievement for me. If you think about it, your skin is just one big sock. I admire your dedication to science. Free tickets to the movies but the guy that chews popcorn loudly sits right next to you in every one. And the person behind you has their feet up on your chair. There's a talent show and it is obligatory for everyone to show up. Everyone needs to perform for at least two minutes. That's hell for me. I'd start crying as soon as I get onto the stage. Karen, maybe once in a while we can all bring our children in to perform in the talent show. Sita, HMMMM. Everyone besides Karen, Enu. Sita, so children it is. Karen, I demand to speak to your mug. Sita, not this shit again. <laughs>